It's really good to be with you today. Here's a story from way back during World War II, probably around 1944. During World War II, a US Marine was separated from his unit on a Pacific island. The fighting had been intense, and in the smoke and the crossfire, he had lost touch with his comrades. Alone in the jungle, he could hear enemy soldiers coming in his direction. Scrambling for cover, he found his way up a high ridge to several small caves in the rock. Quickly, he crawled inside one of the caves. Although safe for the moment, he realized that once the enemy soldiers looking for him swept up this ridge, they would quickly search all the caves and he would be killed. As he waited, he prayed, Lord, if it be your will, please protect me. Whatever your will, though, I love you and I trust you. Amen. After praying, he lay quietly listening to the enemy begin to draw closer and closer. He thought, well, I guess the Lord isn't going to help me out of this one. Then he saw a spider begin to build a web over the front of his cave. As he watched, listening to the enemy searching for him, all the while, the spider layered strand after strand of web across the opening of the cave. Ha! he thought, what I need is a brick wall, and what the Lord has sent me is a spider web. God does have a sense of humor. As the enemy drew closer, he watched from the darkness of his hideout and could see them searching one cave after another. As they came to his, he got ready to make his last stand. To his amazement, however, after glancing in the direction of his cave, they moved on. Suddenly, he realized that with the spider's web over the entrance, his cave looked as if no one had entered for quite a while. Oh, Lord, forgive me, prayed the young man. I had forgotten that in you a spider's web be stronger than a brick wall. We all face times of great trouble. When we do, it is so easy to forget what God can work in our lives, sometimes in the most surprising ways. And remember, with God, a mere spider's web becomes a brick wall of protection. I'd like to reinforce this truth by reading Psalm 46 with you. God is our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. Therefore we will not fear, though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea. Though its waters roar and foam and the mountains quake with their surging. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy place where the Most High dwells. God is within her. She will not fall. God will help her at break of day. Nations are in uproar. Kingdoms fall. He lifts his voice. The earth melts. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Let us pray. Thank you, Lord, that you are indeed with us in all the trials and tribulations of life. 
Thank you that so often your answer to our call for help is very often surprising, not what we hoped for or expected, but nevertheless, always perfect in the situation. More especially when in hindsight we look back at your amazing answer to our prayers. In the greater scheme of things, always the best for us or for those for whom we pray, not bound by our small, finite minds and desires. Help us, Lord, to trust you in all the circumstances of life, that you are indeed our refuge and our strength, an ever-present help in trouble. Amen. Go now, put your trust in God, no matter what may come your way. Be still and know that he is God. Amen.